Action steps, train the staff, raise awareness, approachability, educate parents, and parental workshops. This workshop is running under a unit in our institution called the Center for Education and Lifelong Learning. In short, CEL. We call it CEL. Now, CEL was established to fortify what we do as educators, whether we are teaching, leading, or managing. CEL is your partner in sharpening your skills and knowledge as educators. I think it's very good that we have a workshop where you can all learn from each other, as uh, Fortidas has said. Also, where you can network, because it would be a very good thing for you to network even well and have people you can run to, talk to about these issues even beyond this workshop. The purpose of the workshop was to bring um, managers, leaders, uh, policy makers and practitioners in the field of early childhood uh, to build their capacity on leadership and management of the early childhood education. Children, we shouldn't treat them as adults. You see, the problem is when we want them to sit. Why don't you sit? Why don't you calm down? Why don't you... Why don't you, why don't you? But you forget that actually what you, the way you are looking at the world is different from the way she is looking at the world. This specific workshop addressed a couple things. One, which is the depth of the understanding of elements of early childhood education. While we all know the value for early childhood education, there are common elements that every institution aspires to have. Collectively, we were able to discuss these elements, teach each other, and share the points of experiences that we come from. The teacher, you have to be kind and patient enough in order for you to get what you want to get from the child. And the same applied to the fellow workers. A leader, you have to be patient. When you direct someone today, you have to wait for what you, you, you want to come out. You don't need to rush and everything you want, you want it to be done at the same same time. You have to be patient a little bit. Open-minded, we're in the 21st century right now. Every day this thing's changing. We need to update ourselves. We can't say we know it all because there's no human on earth who knows it all. We learn something new every day, not just from each other, but we learn from the children as well. And that's the most beautiful process. I think patience came out from each group yeah we should be patient but we are stressed we live in a stressful society and the city life is stressful those of us from Dar es Salaam here we know yeah the traffic jam this and that and somebody I don't know even the road rage by the time you're in your office you are so stressed and unfortunately stress is contagious you will pass it to your colleagues and finally to the kids so what do we do should we practice mindfulness? Should we do yoga? Should we meditate as a leader? Or maybe reflective practices will help us as a leader. Stakeholders set together to create action plans that they can own, action plans that are reflecting the needs of their schools, action plan for something that they want to think about outside the box, something that drew a lot of attention was an action plan on how to support early childhood teachers to have a work-life balance. I especially enjoyed um, yesterday's activity where we were talking about um, management. Actually, it was today's activity where we were talking about management. The action plan, that is actually something new, something that I've interacted with for the first time. I'm going to definitely try and practice more back at school and in my work environment. And I believe from the things that I've learned, they're going to help me to be a better manager, both in my classroom and to the people who are dependent on me. I appreciate the fact that we had a lot of group discussions. We, had, uh, we were able to exchange ideas with people even from different institutions and uh, network, among all other things. So I definitely come for another workshop. Uh, so for us as a university, what we have seen, there's a lot of demand out. Uh, people are looking for opportunities to uh, improve their skills, to improve their understanding, 
but also to improve the work they do. Uh, and this is a, t a typical um, evidence to show how uh, many people were here and they were very much involved in whatever we, we put in, uh, uh, forward for them. So I think there is a need not only for this, but to look even for more opportunities to uh, reach out for many people because this was the first time and I think these people have promised they would come back for advertise, but I think they will, they will, they will take the message to more people will be interested to come and participate.